Hi there, this is Chris, Chap in the Cap Motor Legends, here today to talk to you about a brand new helmet for 2020 from Shui. It's called the Shui J Cruise 2 and it replaces the J Cruise 1. So this is the brand new J Cruise 2. Now, frankly, there was nothing wrong with the J Cruise 1. It's a fantastic helmet, but time waits for no man. Materials have moved on, technology has moved on, consumer requirements have become more demanding. So it was time that Shui updated this helmet, added some things into it that weren't obviously in the original. I suppose my first question is who buys a helmet like this? Um, because when you buy an open face, because this is in essence an open face, you are trading off protection. You don't buy this helmet as a style statement. This isn't a helmet for hipsters. So it begs the question, who does ride in one of these? And I think these helmets are bought by people, by people who are experienced motorcyclists who know the risks that they are taking because there is a trade-off. When you wear a helmet like this, you are trading off safety for that wind in your hair feeling. It's not a, the kind of helmet you're gonna ride on a sports bike. It's not an off-road helmet. It's not for hipsters, as I've, I've mentioned. I think it's the kind of helmet that we see a lot of uh, customers who go touring in hotter weathers. They rather like this because it gives them some protection when they're going down the motorway in terms of wind in your face, but you've got that feeling of, of freedom and wind in your hair if you're going somewhere that really hot. See a fair few people on cruisers wearing these, people on big scooters, urban commuters. So it's a very particular kind of helmet. It's not for everyone, um, but if this is what you want, this is obviously, I say obviously, but this is in our view, the best version of helmets of this category. So the new helmet is a brand new shell. Um, it doesn't look particularly different, but it is different. Comes in four shell sizes across six actual sizes. It's a more compact shell. So sure we have worked hard to make it a smaller helmet. It's got a more pronounced spoiler at the back that apparently contributes to this helmet, creating 7% less lift and 1% less drag. What hasn't changed is it's the same shell. It's the same aim shell, which is their multi-composite shell. It's a medium density shell that is hard enough to take impacts, but soft enough to um, absorb energy. You've got multi-layer EPS um, around the helmet, which of course that you would expect from Shui. Interior, Shui to talk about lots of new materials about how there are some materials that are going to absorb um, moisture better and some are softer against the face. They're very excited that at the bottom of the helmet this apparently is more leather-like than it was before but I don't think if you want a, sh a Shui this is going to seem very different to uh, um, either the Shui J Cruise 1 or any other Shui you've ever worn. What's Fantastic about all shoes, obviously, is that we can change the headliners to create a custom fit. And so with this helmet, we still have three headliners in every size and between three and four cheek pads for every size of helmet. So we can custom fit this to make it fit 95% of people. A couple of the details. Um, it's got a deeper sun visor than it had on the previous helmet and apparently um, a slightly deeper um, um, inset for, for the nose there. One of the things they've done is they've reduced the gap, the aperture into which the sun visor fits because that's an area that creates noise. So there's been a concerted effort to make this helmet a slightly quieter helmet. So they've looked at every aspect of it and one of the things they've done is just reduce that gap, makes it a little bit of a quieter helmet. The visor itself is, as you would expect, grade one optical quality. At the bottom, it's got a much thicker piece of beading here. Now that's important apparently because it has an effect on the helmet being swung from side to side when you turn your head. That's called yawing and this piece of beading along the bottom apparently reduces yawing by 43%. The helmet does not come with a pin lock in the box. Almost every Shui helmet does have a pin lock in the box, a, a, a pin lock Max Vision, a pin lock basically 120. But in this kind of helmet, a pin lock is less necessary because let's face it, you're getting a lot of air in there anyway. That's notwithstanding, rather bizarrely, this helmet has a crack position because if you're sat on the helmet, the air is not naturally coming underneath it. In my view, when I've worn a helmet like this in the past, it's very simple. You tilt your head, head back and air comes in. But with this helmet, they've actually got an official 
crack position, it sits there. So when you do that, that is meant to allow air to come in. I think the instances where you're going to really need a pin lock are very rare. I think if you were um, commuting in the winter in this, and I can't imagine many people would, you might go for a pin lock, but most of the time, I don't think you're going to need one. Um, you've got a lock position here, so the, the visor locks into place. You just push it out from the inside and that opens up. They're also quite excited about the fact that this is a new seal here. There's normally a double lip seal that Shua uses on most of his helmets. This is, they term this a piece of window beading. Apparently it creates a better seal against air and water ingress and again contributes towards the helmet being a little bit quieter. On this version there are three brow vents, three movable vents. Um, whereas on the old one there were only two. This contributes to the helmet being able to take in 30% more air than on the previous version. And by playing with the channeling inside, they've managed to make the exhaust vent 20% more efficient as well. The other thing that, one of the main reasons that I think they've introduced this helmet is that Shui bit by bit are moving to Senna SRL comms. So we saw that first on the Neotech where it's all pre-wired and just fits on, you don't have a box on the side. Then when Shui bought out the GT Air 2, it was incorporated into that helmet. Well now, on the J Cruise 2, you can have the same arrangement, so you don't have to have an ugly box on the side. So it's all pre-wired, you just buy the kit, it plugs in, you know, we will, if you come and see us, we will do it for, for you. It doesn't take long, it's not particularly complicated, but it gives you a very um, smooth, integrated system that is incredibly easy to use. Obviously it's based on the Senna 20, so it's about as good as it gets in terms of comms technology. In terms of the price, um, at present, when we're recording this, we've only got the white in stock. There are lots of colors to come through, and I think Graham's gonna put an insert into the video that shows the entire range of colors that, that will be coming through shortly. In terms of price, it goes from 430 pounds right up to 520, so 430 for the plain white, 520 for some of the more complicated graphics. The comms, if you buy it at the same time as the helmet, you will save 20% VAT, and that's because helmets are zero rated, Common systems aren't, but when you put them together, the whole thing becomes a zero rated um, package. And what that means is that if you buy the comms at the same time as the helmet, you are only going to pay 217 pounds for the comms. So that's it, that's the J Cruise 2. It's an improvement in every way. It's not a significantly different helmet, but as you can see, hopefully that run through has shown you that they've made improvements in just about every minor area. It's a great lid, it always was, now it's even better. Okay, so that was the Shui J Cruise 2. If you'd like to see our full range of Shui helmets, then visit the website motolegends.com. But if you'd like to learn more about the J Cruise 2, then if you click on one of the links on this page, sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down below, that will take you directly to the relevant page on our website. You can look at the spec in a wee bit more detail. You can check availability, and who knows if you are really taken with the helmet, you can buy one there and then. Now, when you buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward, and risk-free as possible. There's no delivery charge on anything we sell. Similarly, you get free returns, and you get a full 12 months in which to decide whether you want to return something. You can't ask fairer than that. We also believe that we have an unbeatable price promise. Now, John Lewis is rightly famed for their never knowingly undersold promise. We go one better. If you can find any competitors selling anything we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat their price by a full 10%. Now, if the competitors in the EU rather than in the UK, we won't do that. We will match their landed price. We have a few terms and conditions on the website, nothing onerous, but if you are going to price beat us, then I recommend you visit the website and just check out those terms and conditions. If in future you'd like to receive bulletins from us about new products, products like the Shui Helmet, then if you go to the website, at the top of every page, there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up. Click on there. Seconds later, you'll be signed up for bulletins. If, however, you would prefer to get your information in this form, that is to say video graphically, then we would be delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Finally, I'd like to make a little play for our fabulous little shop here in Guildford. We are sited on the edge of Guildford, about a mile from the town centre, about a mile from the railway station. The shop itself has a fairly small footprint. It's certainly not one of those football pitch size emporia, but we have two million pounds worth of merchandise in the stock, um, two million pounds worth of stock on three floors in the warehouse that's attached to the shop, which technically makes us the second largest shop in the country. But we think that we are far more than just 
the amount of merchandise we have here in the building. We're about service, we're about personal fitting. If you want to check that out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. When you come and see us, we'll serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee. We will serve you tea, proper Yorkshire tea in a teapot. It's just different here. Anyway, this has been Chris and Moto Legends. Look forward to talking to you again soon.